someone's coming. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to step in real quick and intro this part of the video because at, originally I was going to make just the getaway vacation slash whatever you want to call it type of video, uh, one long video, but it turned out it was over 20 minutes and I was like, I don't know if anyone's going to sit here and watch a 20 minute long video, so I went ahead and split it up into two, so I just wanted to intro this half, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, me and Justin, we, like we said before, we didn't bring a whole lot of money with us, so we're like going around to different casinos in the area and just looking at them because I don't know I guess we're weird we just like we like casinos and we like looking at games and just seeing what they have and then and they give you free play yeah and some of them give you free play like it depends on the casino but anyways we came out here to see this one it's called the Grand Casino and it's actually really big it looks cool it's got a, a hotel with it so maybe it's nice and it's weird because like this is like I don't know oh this is I-40 okay I was thinking it was like just in the middle of a freaking field really <laughs> Because we've kind actually of gone to casinos that are in the middle of the field. So. Yeah. It's kind of weird how we got out here. Like, I guess we took some back roads because we didn't go on I-40. We went from Norman to here. And it was they said it was faster to go, like, the back way that we went. But we just wanted to film because we thought it was cool. Oh, look at the little fountains, the water. It looks really it's pretty. Crazy. It's huge. I don't know why we haven't ever been to this one. It's because it's like an extra 40 miles past Oklahoma City, so, but me and Justin didn't have anything to do today, so we thought we would travel around and just check everything out. Might as well have some fun. Just, we didn't really plan anything for today. Yeah, but, I mean, this we didn't is, have any plans. This is just off the top of our heads, coming to check out some other casinos and just the scenery too is cool know, to look at. Like, and it's out here, it's weird, like, I don't know. Be it like, keeps going from like country to city, country to city. And like houses and stuff yeah. like, in, in between. Like it looks really country, but and then all of a sudden, like a pawn shop will pop up, or like a, or a dollar, dollar store. store. Or like, how the hell is this dollar store? Just it's like all mixed up, weird. Yeah. Anyways, that's pretty, pretty pretty, pretty pretty. It's cool coming up on it though. It's huge. It looks like it would be really nice. They even have a parking garage. What? This place is huge. Hey guys well we just left the grand casino that was really cool it's like i don't know it's set up crazy in there i filmed a little bit of it there were security guards everywhere because it's such a huge casino so i didn't want to film too much and get in trouble but um yeah it was really cool it was really pretty and different than the casinos we're used to going into so we were tripping out while we were in there so yeah it was so huge like there's so many floors you go upstairs yeah and there's whole all kinds of different sections. And then you're walking, you're like, oh, okay, that's that's all there is. And then you look like and then left you turn, right, and, and there's, there's so like much more. more. You're like, yeah, crap? it was crazy in there. If you're ever in the area and you like to gamble or anything like that, you should stop in at least just to check it out. It's pretty cool. But we are hungry. It's two o'clock, and we haven't eaten lunch yet. Um, so we're gonna go find something to eat, head back to the hotel, and relax for a little bit. And then I don't know what we're gonna do after that. I guess we'll probably just hang out. So we'll see. Okay, after what feels like 20 hours. It's three o'clock now. We finally picked a place to eat and finally found how the hell to get here. And we're gonna go to Qdoba. Our windows are so dirty. So dirty. I don't know if you guys can see or not. I'm about to go up in here. <laughs> For real. Um, we've never been here before, so we're gonna go in and try it. But we finally made it. I'm hungry. I'm ready to get to the hotel. Chillax for a little bit because I feel exhausted and stressed. She's but. freaking out, and like usually it's me freaking. Out. Well, cause like. Oh my gosh, we wanted to eat at Rosa's Cafe, and there's like signs for it and shit like around. Like we saw a sign like right before we got into Oklahoma City saying that they had a special like $5 plate or I don't know, something. So we were like, oh, let's look that up. There's none even here. There's none. And so we were like, what the fuck? So I got frustrated about that because I looked for like 20 minutes trying to find one. And then um, it recommended Qdoba's because it's, you know, Mexican food too. And so I started looking that up and everyone I looked at, we were already past. So I was trying to keep up with how fast we were going and find one ahead of us and we just would pass it. So he was like, just click on one and we'll go to it. So even if we had to turn around, so we did have to turn around, but we made it. So, hey, finally we're here. So <laughs> let's go ahead and hopefully their food's good. Guys, we just realized what's across the street. Five guys. Oh, well, just to get nachos. I got this huge burrito, like look at this in my hand. It's like really short, but it's super fat. 
Anyways, hopefully it's good. We'll let you know. Oh my god, guys. The funniest thing just happened. I should have been recording, but I was dying laughing. Oh. Okay, so we just got home. Kidobo was really good. We liked their food. And yeah, it was really good. But <laughs> we got to the... I said home again. The motel. And... <laughs> We got in the elevator and we pushed, I pushed floor three and it went to floor two and then it just stayed there. Like the door wasn't opening, like nothing was happening. So we were like, okay, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden it went back down to floor one and I was like, oh, maybe somebody called it or I don't know what happened. Anyways, as soon as we got in the elevator, I pushed, like I said, floor three and it was making this really weird noise and Justin was screaming this song and I just was dying. Like I thought we were going to die because the... The elevator was making all kinds of weird noises. And Justin's just screaming a song at the top of his lungs. He doesn't even know what's going on. And I'm like, Justin, shut the fuck up and listen. And anyway, so the elevator fucked up on us. Luckily, it went down to floor one. The door didn't open again, but when we pushed open door, it opened. And so um, we went to the front desk and told her that the elevator was acting weird. And we used the stairs. But that was super funny. I was like fixing the pee on myself, laughing so hard at him. Because he was just sitting there singing a song, and I thought, I was like, in a tragic moment, thinking all six going to die. <laughs> He's in there laughing, I don't know if you can hear him, but <laughs> it was super crazy. Anyway, that was our elevator experience. We're going to relax, <laughs> shut up. We're going to relax for a little bit, and just chill out, and then see what happens after that. Because we're tired, clearly we're delirious, because we, we can't stop laughing. By the way, guys, I was filming earlier with food in my teeth. So you probably saw that, sorry if you did. But yeah, me and Justin are just relaxing, like I said. I just wanted to say, sorry for the food in my teeth. I didn't even realize. I just, we came home from eating and then I wanted to tell you guys what happened. So I didn't even check my teeth, but anyways. All right guys, good morning. It's Sunday. It is the day that we're leaving. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to go stop and get some breakfast and then head home. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was fun. It was just boring. Last uh, Yesterday we didn't film much after we got home because we stayed in the hotel literally all night long. And we watched, um, what was it, Live PD? Live PD all night all long. All night long. <laughs> like literally until we fell asleep. So like, They started playing reruns <laughs> of Live PD. <laughs> yeah, so we had to find something else to watch. And so we just went to sleep. But yeah, that's why I didn't film much after we got back to the hotel last night. But yeah, we're going to head out this morning, so let's get home. Justin went in that 7-Eleven to get some drinks, and we just ordered from Dunkin' Donuts. I know that sounds weird, but I don't drink coffee, uh, so I didn't get anything from Dunkin' Donuts. And they only have, like, bottled drinks. Um, anyways, Justin didn't want coffee, I guess. But we got our breakfast. We got some hash browns, and then I we both got a bagel I would show you, but it's in the bag. But anyways, that's what we're having for breakfast, Dunkin' Donuts. It's a really like rainy, cloudy day. I don't know if you can tell that the ground's wet, yeah. And it's just cloudy, so it's gonna be a nice drive home. It's gonna be relaxing, so, uh, but I am ready to get home. All right, guys, we just made it home. It was a super long trip back. The, on the way home is always, like, it seems like it takes the longest, huh? It takes for freaking ever. But we made it, there's our Jeep. Justin missed it, you can tell. He's just staring at it. <laughs> but yeah, we're probably going to unload all our stuff and probably just relax for most of the day. Look, it's raining here where we live. It's so exciting. It's like calming, I guess. It feels relaxing. Me and Justin have been in bed. We've been laying in bed, relaxing, watching videos, catching up on YouTube videos that we haven't got to watch uh, and stuff like that. Just relaxing and enjoying being home, I guess, as much as we can enjoy it. <laughs> Every time we go to Norman, we're sad when we come back because like, it's a goal to live there one day. So, but... We're appreciative of our house. We're not saying that, you know, we're not grateful for what we do have. We're just hopeful for a better future, I guess. Who's not, though? You should be. But anyways, yeah, we're just going to get a drink. Justin wants a Dr. Pepper, so we're going to go get him a Dr. Pepper. And probably not do much for the rest of the evening. Like I said, it's just we're just going to kind of hang out and chill. And then Justin has to start his work week back tomorrow. I am going to start putting in applications tomorrow or tonight, whatever, whenever I get to it. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to apply yet. I just thought we'd share the rain with you guys. It's super cloudy and it just looks nice. Most people think this weather is like, they don't like it, but to me, I love it. It's, it's nice. Okay, so 
we're at a business. <laughs> you can probably tell behind me, but I'm not gonna say it out loud. Oh, it's windy. I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, their sign partially like blew off and Justin's gonna go peep it out and maybe steal it. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> He's running. I don't know if you guys can see him. You can see me in the little mirror. Hey. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared? <laughs> it's metal. Is it metal? Yeah. Dang, we can't steal it. Well, never mind. I guess we won't. It's Walmart. <laughs> Since we're not going to steal it. We were driving by the back way and they have a sign at the back so that you know that you can come this way, I guess. And, um, anyways, a piece of their sign blew off and Justin was like, oh, we should look for it and see if it's laying out there somewhere and then steal it. And, and then he was like, hold, hold it for ransom. Captain, <laughs> like, I'll give it back to you for 5000 <laughs> But anyway, darn. He said it was metal, so it's probably heavy and we don't want it to cut up our car. It wouldn't fit in the car, it's huge. Yeah, it, was, it, it is. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, be sure to give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We reached 60 subscribers on my channel and I'm super, super excited. So thank you guys so very much for that. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.